I'm going to ask uh, Stu if you'll open up in prayer for us, please. Thank you. Our Heavenly Father and gracious God, we do thank you, Father, that we can be here this day. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity we have to gather together as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ and believers in your perfect, preserved word, Father. We thank you for the opportunity and the privilege that it is to gather with brethren in, under the name and the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father God, we praise you, Lord, for the, for the labours of the, the Time for Truth team. God, we thank you for them to be such gracious hosts and to have put so much labour into serving you this day and serving our fellow brethren. Father, we pray for new friendships, new fellowship, and Father, we pray to be strengthened, encouraged, and enriched open our hearts and our minds to receive all that is given this day, to partake fully and wholly, Lord, that we may go away strengthened and stirred and, and zealous for the things of you, our great and gracious God. Lord, help us to proclaim that great and glorious gospel ever more strongly and faithfully, Lord, as we see the days drawing to an end. Stir your people this day. Use it to your glory. Oh God, we thank you in the name of our dear Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. If you have your Bibles, will you turn, please, to Revelation. Revelation chapter 21. Revelation 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be, to be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that cometh, he, he that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, full of the seven last plagues, and, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. And Revelation 22 Verse 1, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it and on either side of it, of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Amen. Great to see you all. Thank you for coming. Um, this is the second, well, we had a TNT conference uh, two years ago. This is a, a ministry day, more than a conference. Hopefully that will um, explain itself as we go through the day. I wonder if Toy and Dee would give out the, um, the name plaques for the tables, please. Uh, one thing, if you have mobile phones, if you could switch them off, not that I don't mind you talking to people, but um, it just affects the recording. So if you have a mobile phone, you could switch that off. I'd appreciate that, please. If we could go around the room, starting with Rudy, and just say, 
your name, where you're from, and how long you've been saved, so we can get to know one another. So, Rudy, if you could start off, please. Yes, my name is Rudy Hemmer. I'm from Germany. I've been saved since 1979. Thank you. I'm Sabine Hemmer, his wife, and I've been saved. I'm also from Germany, of course, and I've been saved since 1981. I'm Black. I'm a follower of Alan. I've been saved about 30 years ago. I'm dying. I can't remember. The good thing is you're saved. Sorry? The good thing is you're saved. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> You don't have to do that. I'm not interested in the maths. We'll work that out. Don't worry. Yep, excellent. Don't come on, Kieran. You're old enough now. Where are you from? Oh, of course, you live with your mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll work on you. Next. Uh, I'm Shah, I'm 16 in London, and I haven't been saved as a man. Okay. Um, Thank you for your honesty. I live here in London, I live here in London. Yeah, that's questionable. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm Chris, I'm from Cornwall, and I got saved in 1990. Excellent. He's one for detail, Alan is. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Toya, she knows. If there's one dot missed off one of his sermons, it's got to be changed. He's a perfectionist, our Alan. Excellent, well done. Um, did everybody see the red sign coming in? Don't tell me I spent that money for nothing. <laughs> one person. The King James... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Stu. Thank you. Thank you, Rudy. Excellent. There's money worth spending then. I wonder whatever other Christians think. The King James Version Bible is 100% perfect. I wonder what they think as they're driving through this morning. That'll be interesting. Um, before I run through the schedule of the day, I'd briefly like to introduce, because some of you obviously we haven't met before, I'd like to introduce you to our team, the Time for Truth team. Um, my wife on the end there, Donna, uh, she looks after me, which is a full-time job, as you can imagine. Um, she writes letters and emails, contributes to TFT News regularly. Um, she's mainly behind the scenes, and she's out of the so-called spotlight, um, her choice. And, um, and she, yeah, she, she does a good job for me. All the jobs I don't like doing, she does. Um, she's been a Christian from a very early age, and you can read her testimony on the website. Donna also does a great job at the proofreading, along with um, Toy. And um, she also looks after the music side of the ministry. Toy, which is the third one there. In fact, you didn't say yours. Where are you, where are you from? And tell us about yourselves. <laughs> Dion from Birmingham, and I'll say it's all 
Okay, so Natoya, she looks after um, everything to do with the website. She runs the CD ministry, so those of you that receive the CDs. Um, she helps with the postage and packaging for specific orders. Um, she also writes letters and emails on behalf of Time for Truth. She also, um, we have like a project manager, so if anything needs researching or things, um, we give it to Toy because nobody else wants to do it. Um, if we venture into anything new, she um, seeks all the information out, which is great. Um, Toy is also the creative one among us. Um, she comes up with designs and flyers and things like that. And uh, she's also the IT. If anything goes wrong on our computer, we just scream, uh, Toy, come and sort it out, will you? But she, even though she hates it. And she's also responsible for liaising with Chris and um, Pete from Printbridge. Uh, we'll talk to you about Chris in a second. And um, she's recently taken up the guitar. Interesting. Over the last year. Just in case anybody else plays the guitar, you can give her some tips. D next to Toy. And she looks after all the orders for the tracks. So those of you that order tracks, books, Bibles, anything that needs sending out anywhere in the world, D sorts that out. She's responsible for all the payments, hence why we're in debt and currency, um, and she looks after the PayPal conversions and all that kind of stuff. She does all that. Um, Dee often has our house looking like a local post office or courier um, depot, although she says courier. Um, she doesn't speak very good English, so you can <laughs> ask her to say that word. <laughs> that would be quite fun. Um, she is the greatest packer in the world. She can pack um, some great stuff. M many of you complain that you can't get into your parcels. Um, but she does all the packing, which is great. She sends a lot of letters out, emails to prisoners and missionaries um, all over the world on behalf of TN, um, TFT. Uh, Dee has recently taken up the violin. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> does anyone understand how bad that is at the start? <laughs> yeah. Would you raise your hands if you play the violin? No, exactly. And um, would you raise your hands if you've ever played the violin? Ex oh, oh, there's two. Oh, fair play. You can take some tips off these. No, she, it really is... Um, it's really hard for us. Um, she took it up, I don't know how long ago? Uh, yeah. yeah, about an hour. Um, how do you tell the difference? How do you tell the difference between a violinist and a dog? The dog knows when to stop scratching. <laughs> when do, oh dear. When, do, when does a violin and a lawsuit, what do they, a violin and a lawsuit have in common? Everyone is happy when the case is closed. <laughs> Haven't I seen your face before? A judge demanded, looking down at the defendant. You have, Your Honour, the man answered hopefully. I gave your son violin lessons last winter. Ah, yes, recalled the judge. Twenty years. <laughs> anyway, back to the Time for Truth team. All three girls, um, they're totally committed to the Lord. They give out tracts. They're always evangelising, talking to people, um, evangelising the families, whatever. Um, they, they do a great job and they're great ambassadors for the Lord and for us. Um, I couldn't do what I do without them um, doing what they do. Uh, we all have our specific tasks and um, I'm just thankful that we have such a great team. Best team in the world. We can argue that afterwards. Um, among their TFT duties, um, they are 100% involved in JDA. We have a, uh, I say a Christian business. We are Christians who set up a business and um, we supply giftware to garden centres all over the United Kingdom. And um, they're all directors. We split the company in four so we can't sack each other unless they gang, <laughs> gang up with each other. Um, they're actively involved in the Oaks Church, obviously, every Friday, every Sunday morning, um, every Friday night we have an like a, um, interactive like Bible study, and then Sunday is more traditional, um, but they're involved there, and the ministry house where we live, plus a million other things that we have to do being in the team. So we're a very busy team, there's always something to do, but we love it. Um, you may be wondering what I do, um, seeing as they do all this work, which is fair comment, I play golf five times a week, um, but never on a Sunday. I sauna, I jacuzzi, I drink non-alcoholic martinis, and I play the bassoon. Or is it the buffoon, Chris? I never understand. On occasions, I've been known to give clothes to the Salvation Army. Anyway, that's enough for me. We shall be recording all the speaking throughout the day, so if you want copies of the sermons, um, Alan's going to be speaking to us just after lunch. Just let me know. Um, we've got some sermons which I'll tell you about at the back as well. We have a literature table. I had to say this two years ago, I'm going to say it again um, today because we've got the same kind of setup. Um, but behind me we have a literature table. Everything behind me is for sale. We, as you come in from the door, there's a, like a front room out there, everything in there is free of charge. Do not get them muddled up. <laughs> everything is free out there. Chris, everything you pay for here. He's, he's already bought you. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
And we've got some great stuff out there. So anything you want, you take as much as you like out there. That's free of charge. But you pay for all of that. Yeah. Excellent. Um, books. Again, lots and lots of different books. I want to bring your attention to just one. Alan's written a book called Obiblios, the book we've just had another 12 copies brought in. Every Christian should have this book in the library. It's in Rockman's Top 100. Um, I think Alan even made it into the Rockman Reference Bible, so he's done well. Um, so um, I would definitely recommend that. They're £12, and um, we've got, I think, 12 or 13 at the back. So if you want one, we've just had those shipped in again. And there's um, lots of different um, things at the back. Bibles, we've got loads of Bibles, we've got 35% off the Trinitarian Bible Society ones, we get a good discount from them, so if you're looking for cheap Bibles, you can have some there. We've got the Cambridge, refer- uh, Cambridge Wide Margin Bible, which in my opinion is the best Bible you can possibly get, and we've got the best um, reference Bible, which is the Rockman Reference Bible, and we've got three different versions of um, all AV, all AV, but or three different types um, there, so if you want a Bible. And plus there's loads of other books, we've got commentaries and that, and you've got loads of tracts, and then we've got some second-hand books as well. There, again, some good deals on that. Food and drink. We'll be serving food and drink throughout the day. There'll be breaks throughout the day. We'll have lunch for an hour, time for fellowship, etc. But if you're hungry or thirsty, just raise your hands and, and we'll come to your aid. Or you can go into the kitchen yourself and make whatever you want. Um, the Oaks Church is on tomorrow. So those of you that are staying over, I know some of you are staying over for that. Um, I've asked Alan to give 20 minutes. I've asked Rudy to give 20 minutes there. So if you're staying over for that, um, yeah, please do so. It starts at 10.30. Same place, same here. Um, prizes, prizes. Um, obviously, Latia's ears are pricked up, and she's just open, she's just opened her eyes again. Um, throughout the day, if you read aloud, you get a point. Toys for me scoring. Now having to go at the judge. Um, and uh, you get involved. The more you get involved, the more points you get. There's a prize table. There's some lovely prizes on that, which are very welcome to take. Okay, let's run through the schedule for the day. On your um, tables in front of you, you have a schedule. We're running late already. Nightmare. Um, I'm going to give you a brief overview of just what's been happening since the last TNT... Uh, t- I keep saying TNT. That's where I used to work years ago. TFT, Time for Truth. Does anyone know what TNT stands for, for a prize? Young lady? Oh, you... We always got one, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> I, was, I was going for Thomas Nationwide Transport, but obviously you... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a prize. Put that lady down for a prize. Oh, I thought I was on my own then. Well done, excellent. That's good enough for me. And, it, and it's convinced these, these are thinking you're genius. Okay, um, 10.20 we're going to have a discussion. I'm going to have an open session with everybody. I'm going to try and open you all up a little bit if I can. Um, try and get as much honesty from you. We're all in similar situations in, in different times, I'm sure, in our lives. Um, we go through that, we struggle with loneliness and um, life is hard at times and I just want to just open us all up a little bit so we're going to have a discussion. Please get involved with that if you can. Um, 11.20, we're going to have a break. Again, we're running a bit late. Then we're going to sing Amazing Grace. Then we're going to have some ministry. Uh, the team are going to sing to us. Then we're going to have some lunch, an hour's lunch um, and that will prepare us. Sit down after that and um, Alan's going to speak to us, which we're looking forward to and we're going to have a question and answer session after that as well. Then we'll have another break, some ministry, another break. Then we're going to draw to a close. I may open that up in a little bit of discussion as well. Then a closing hymn, How Sweet the Name, and then um, an offering, and then closing prayer. And then you can stay as long as you like, or you can go. And again, nobody's forcing you. The doors are open, they're not locked. So if you don't like what you hear, <laughs> there's the door. Chris is already sitting by it, he's told me. <laughs> right. I'm glad you came, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just very, very quickly then. Since the last um, conference we had in 2014, May the 4th, which I was 25 years saved then, um, lots happened. I've just picked out certain highlights. Um, I've just put, not in any order, but my number one I've put on the list is we met an an Indian, a little Indian, uh, called Tonto. Where is he? There he is, there he is, Amrik. You can um, have a word with Amrik after. And Amrik's been a a great blessing to us, as other people in the church, of course. But Amrik's um, brought so many people to the Oaks Church. Every church needs an Amrik. Um, he, he just, wherever he goes, he causes problems. No, 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 no. <laughs> and, uh, wherever he goes, he's always talking to people. He's, he's, very, he's very sneaky as well, our Amrik, because um, even if he goes shopping in Sainsbury's, he'll put a tract in the bottom of his own basket and go and pay, and then the lady takes the tract out, and then he has a chance to witness to it. He does all these things, but he's a great ambassador for the Lord. He works at um, Jaguar Land Rover. He's on the, um, the uh, track there. 
Um, but he's always um, talking to people, and he's brought a lot of people into the Oaks Church. And like I say, every church needs an Amrick. Um, we're actually hiring him out, £85 a day or £100 for a weekend. <laughs> Um, we produce 15,000 Time for Truth calendars, and Chris, raise your hand, Chris, so we know you again. There's Chris. Chris is our printer. He does a fantastic job. Everything we get printed now, um, we go via Chris and Pete, who have um, a great printing company. So all the tracks we do, the calendars we do, the ministry years, all this gets... And what I love about these guys as well is they're very... Um, Empathetic, is it sympathetic? Um, they understand where we're coming from. We're not trying to make money at this. It's a ministry. We lose money. At the, the actual business finances our ministry. Um, but they're very sympathetic towards that, and so they give us the best um, deals that we can possibly get. Well, that's what he tells me anyway. And, um, and uh, so we can do. We, so everything is at cost. So you know, um, I guarantee he makes hardly anything on it. We don't, and um, you're buying at the same price that we are. I didn't notice you've got a new car outside there. Um, oh, I'm only joking. No, <laughs> no it's not really. <laughs> no, that's true. Keep your voice down, please. Um, <laughs> 2009. Yeah, yeah. All right, no justification. It was a joke. Um, <laughs> the Lord led us to produce some new tracks. Um, one of the most popular tracks we produced so far, and we've shipped out tens of thousands of these, is this one. Everybody recognises somebody on this. Um, it's, we've had so many responses from our tracks recently, and I really appreciate that. Um, this seems to be the most popular one at the moment. Um, where are they now? Where will you be? Uh, we always do a little prize. If you can name everybody on there, you can have a prize. Um, so that would be interesting. And then we've done, we've revamped some as well. We've revamped the um, What is the Meaning and Purpose of Life, the Missing Piece, and also the Rapture Tract, which personally I think is one of the most important tracks that we've ever produced. And Christians still don't get that. But um, it's, it's written upside down for a purpose. If you don't get that, come and talk to me afterwards. Um, somebody said, that, well, a chick, chick tracks, which are excellent. Chick tracks, they always, they, they always have a slogan, don't they? Chick tracks get read. We say that time for truth tracks get a response. And um, it's very, very true. I'm, I'm sure chick tracks do, of course. Um, but we, every month we get responses from our tracks. All you lot, um, giving them out and ourselves and that. And we'll always have, whether it's an atheist, an evolutionary guy or, or, or a Christian or whatever. But um, we've had, because of them, we've met some incredible people. Incredible people. And I've had correspondence with some of um, these people over the last two, two years. And it, is, it has been amazing. What else has been happening? Um, I've crossed swords with numerous Christian nuts. Um, maybe some of you are here today. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, from hyper-dispensationalists, which is one of my pet hates, um, also Calvinists, which is another pet hate of mine, and post-tribs, which is even more of a pet hate, seems to be, these three. So if you're in those classes, me and you ain't going to get on very well. <laughs> um, and that's why I've got Alan next to me, because he's my big bodyguard. <laughs> so, yeah, we, loads and loads of letters and, and things. We, we used to have a lot more Bible correctors, but I think Alan's seeing them off. <laughs> I think he's taking the heads off one by one. We don't get so many letters now. And um, all we, because um, on our website we have different tabs, and Alan's got loads and loads of information on there regarding the version issue and Bible studies, etc. And we just, it's very easy now just, just to link them, rather than getting to some... Because they're time wasters. Most of them are time wasters. And it's the same with the hyper... All these people, these Calvinists... We haven't changed much from our stance that we did at the CRE years ago when we put this banner up. That nearly caused a riot at the CRE, that did. I had everybody attacking me on this. I thought it was going to be a nice Christian little venue. but um, I had people wanting to interview us on radio and I was turning that down. It was a nightmare. So um, I haven't seen it for <laughs> two years, so we put it up again. And we haven't changed from that. I just add the, um, the hyper-dispensationists in the bottom there. Um, and the post-tribbers who seem to be getting a little bit bigger. And some other nut bar, the Flat Earth Society, and all this kind of stuff. There's some weird and wonderful things going on out there. But we've crossed swords with a lot. And, and correspondence and that, it takes time. Um, but it's great to have the links on the website. We've sold loads of uh, Cambridge Wide Margin Bibles. So I've got to deal with Cambridge. We probably sell more Wide Margin Cambridge Bibles than any other bookshop in the country. Uh, we've got a great deal with them. We get their seconds. That's what we're after. You can spend £117 on one at the back, which is, will last you, God willing, until the rapture. Fantastic. The best you can get. Um, but we've got some seconds that we've... And they go like wildfire. So many Christians keep saying, oh, well, you know, three days later, if I'd have known, I'd have got in. Listen, if it goes out to you, it's urgent, and you want one, get in quick. Because they go crazy. We sell scores of them. Um, we've had a great deal from them. They give us, what is it, 35% or something, or maybe from, up to, I think they had up to 60 in, in the past and that. Just where they get returned to them, and then maybe a crease in a page or a cover or box damage, and it's brilliant. So you can pick up great deals from that. So we're very privileged to be able to do that with Cambridge University Press. 
We produced the Ministry Years Volume 2, which I say we, Chris, um, which is this one here. Um, it's the best one we've done, and I've, I really appreciate what you've done on that. If we get the first one, Volume 1, reprinted, we'll do it the same as that if we can, um, in colour. And that's gone down very, very well, and we've cross-referenced, because it, what it is, it's like... Um, they're bullet point Bible studies. That's what a lot of this is. Apart from the me abusing and getting abused, but on the hassle that I get in there. But um, we've cross-referenced it with our wide margin. So if we want to talk on Calvinism, or we want to talk on post-trib, or kingdom of God versus kingdom, we've got it there, cross-referenced with our wide margin bar. And it works really well. And we try and encourage you, if you, if you want, you know, just to do little studies on that, you can do that. We met some amazing people. Like I say, we've met this um, guy who was this multi, multi millionaire, this hotel chain, who picked up one of our tracks in one of his hotels. And um, we went and spent, um, he called us up to one of his t- hotels. And uh, the story is out there on the CD, so if you want that, to get that. That's been incredible. Steve McQueen got saved when he was um, just, di- when, just before he died. Um, the actor Steve McQueen. And even people that have known him and saw him change, um, we've had one of his best friends contact us as well. It's been amazing, the people. Um, the singer Yaz, I'm just picking out highlights, the singer Yaz, The Only Way Is Up, those of you that remember that, um, again, it wasn't my kind of style, but I found out she became a Christian, so we've started corresponding a little bit as well. So it's just, again, through tracks, through the website and the traffic, it is amazing. We get about 50,000 pages open nearly every month now on the website. Um, what else has been happening? Oh, yeah. We get attacked, like everybody, I'm sure if you're a frontline ministry, you know what it's like. If I'm sure Stu and people like this who are frontline ministry, you can tell. Um, you take a stand and people just want to have a go at you all the time. And People have done YouTube videos about me. I don't, you think there'd be better things to do in life. Um, and they always get my wrong profile. It should be this side. <laughs> and um, they've, they've written blogs and um, Facebook and all this kind of... Uh, churches, Facebookers and oh, just mad stuff. So we've had to deal with some of this. A lot of the time we let it go, but sometimes, we, sometimes it just rears its ugly head. And um, I see red mist. But apart from that, I'm um, pretty harmless. Um, what else has been happening? Um, oh yeah, you know about the two full hip replacements? That's been amazing. I'm 1.2 centimetres taller. I'm nearly, nearly taller. Me and Stu's got the same haircut, but he's just a little bit taller than me. But I'm catching him up. And I thank the Lord, and I really, really do appreciate all your prayers on that. Um, they're brutal operations. I've had a six months recovery in two years. And I know some of you, had, I know Chloe's had an operation, I know Rudy's had an operation, um, but they're not getting any taller. Um, but, uh, but um, you, know, it's, there's, you know, we all have health issues that we have to deal with. I'm 45, it's hit me for six, I've stopped, you know, stopped running at 40. Uh, you put on weight now and you don't like all this stuff you have to deal with. Um, but I thank the Lord that he's brought me through and thanks for your prayers on that. We've had, again, loads of emails and letters over the last two years um, through the ministry, which, again, we appreciate. We've introduced a testimony tab on the website. Now, if you haven't got your testimony on that tab, you ought to, because people look at it, and they read it. It's, it's very encouraging to see how people get saved. So you, if you've never done that, send us your testimony, and we'll upload it um, onto the tab. We also had an email from Alan Wells. Does anyone remember Alan Wells, the 100-meter um, sprinter? Alan and... Um, yeah, and um, he's won gold medal, was it in Russia or something, Olympics? And um, he was doing an article on Eric Liddell, and, uh, and we got uh, talking in regard to that, found out his, um, his email address. And uh, it was a great chance to give him the gospel as well. I don't know if he's saved or not. Um, so on Saturday news, Donna's nan died at 101, um, which was last year, and Donna's dad at 69, who had Parkinson's disease. And um, it's, obviously it's a horrendous thing for Donna's mum and for the family, of course. Um, but he wouldn't want to come back now where he is. And um, he was in so much like pain, and, and it was a very tragic end, um, but fantastic that he's with the Lord. The hope that we have as Christians is beyond belief. It's amazing. To think that we're all going to see him again and going to see Nan again, well, that's, well, I don't know about that. But, um, <laughs> but it's amazing that we can um, just have all this hope, that one day we're going to spend eternity together with the Lord and with all these saints that have gone on before us. It's fantastic. I've written to my atheistic dad, who's as hard as nails, three times over the last three years, I think it is, um, urging him to get saved, because I think he's coming to the end now, um, but still nothing. D- uh, on a lighter note, Donna and I have celebrated 22 years of marriage, um, half of which we have really enjoyed. <laughs> uh, we've lost some friends, we've gained some new ones. Um, we've had some people leave the church, we've had some people come to the church, that happens all the time, as you know, those of you that run um, a church or a pastor of a church, you'll understand that. Um, isn't it been interesting, the amount of famous people that have died over the last year or so, two years? 
Um, all these famous people, even from my era, I'm seeing them now, you know, when I saw them when they were in their 40s, their 70s and 80s, and, and now they're dying. It's quite incredible how many people seem to be dying in the news. Um, since the last uh, Time for Truth conference, we've driven over 105,000 miles. Um, I think the circumference of the earth, prize for anybody, uh, genius down there. <laughs> Don't shake you. You are very good. Get, I tell you, Chris, you're sitting next to the right lady there. Yeah, 20, 25,000 miles, that's close enough that is. Give her a prize. Put her name down. Yeah, so we've driven four times around the world, that's amazing. Um, we do the car boots every so often, just weather dependent. They, they always great, get a great reaction. Um, you're on common ground. You've paid the five quid, they've paid the five quid, you're on common ground. You don't, it's not knocking on doors, it's not going into somebody else's territory. That's difficult. Even on the streets it's difficult. But with a car boot, you've got as much right to be there as you can, and we just put the literature tables out, and it stirs up people. Um, and we've had some great conversations through that, so we'd definitely recommend that. Jehovah's Witnesses have got in on that as well. You'll find them at the, the car boots. Their strategy has changed tremendously over the last few years. Um, we are very privileged to ship um, 10,000 rapture tracks um, from Chris direct to New York, New York City, the Bronx, which is amazing. A guy over there has got a fantastic track ministry. I think every two or three months he gives out 100,000 tracks. Um, he's doing amazing work over there. He's got a church on the streets 24-7. So, the, so somebody comes off, somebody goes on, and 20, throughout the night it's all going, just giving out tracks. Amazing. So we shipped 10,000 over to him. And again, thousands of sermons um, on CD have gone out, tracks, books all over the UK and overseas. Um, one guy, Barry, has donated a um, fast copier to us. It's our third fast copier now, so we can produce CDs at three minutes. Every three minutes we can produce 15 CDs. And so we just ship them out all the time, and they're going everywhere. A um, lot gone to America over the last um, couple of years. Um, like I say, the team's had some great conversations, uh, especially with family members, people um, on the streets and that. And the Lord is blessing us in sales. We really appreciate that with JDA because that finances the ministry. If the, if the business dries up, that's it. You know, we, we keep praying for doors to open and that. And um, we, our business is in the Lord's hands. Every Monday we, we start with nothing. We have to go out. We have to get it in. And then we have to pay the bills. And our costs are astronomical. And postage and everything is just astronomical these days. I mean, fuel in the car. It's a nightmare. But the Lord is blessing the business and we pay everything, which we really do appreciate. Um, we've seen a rapid change in the country for the worse, as you know. Um, we are near the rapture. Two years ago, you know, we were expecting the rapture. I expect it today. You know, we are expecting the rapture any time. And um, we live in a very, very anti-Christian society. And um, it's very, very sad. Um, but that's the way things are going. Okay, so that covers that, I think. Um, yeah, I'd like to open us up now. To a discussion.